545, thanks to you too. A 21 year old man is facing 14 charges related to a series of pellet gun attacks in Abbotsford. Police say Harpreet Singh Vade faces seven counts of discharging an air gun with intent to injure and seven counts of assault with a weapon. Last July, there were 15 pellet gun attacks in Abbotsford over nine days. Pedestrians, vehicles, even homes were hit. Police are still looking for at least one other person allegedly involved in the attacks. Raw BC oysters are back on the menu. Last month, Vancouver Coastal Health directed restaurants to cook all BC harvested oysters because of a bacterial outbreak that affected 28 people across the region. The authority says water temperatures and trends indicate the risk of infection has now returned to normal. A total of 60 cases relating to raw shellfish consumption were reported across BC. Well, it's been a challenging summer for spawning salmon, but volunteers on the North Shore have been out this week to give them a hand. They're netting coho at the mouth of the Seymour River to transport them to the fish hatchery. A rock slide last November blocked the river and made it impassable for returning salmon. Staff are hoping to catch 150 pairs of coho in the estuary to use as brooding stock in the hatchery in order to sustain the Seymour run. Great. So we'll raise those uh, those coho in the hatchery and we'll clip them so that we, they can be identified as hatchery fish. And then um, with our partners DFO, we'll be um, following their criteria in releasing the fish. We'll probably release some above the rock slide and the remainder below the rock slide. Experts are currently assessing whether something can be done to make the rock slide passable for salmon without endangering habitats further downstream. If you're looking for a horse, you might want to head to the SPCA. It's holding an adopt-a-thon on Saturday, the 26th of September, for farm animals that were seized in a recent animal cruelty investigation in Surrey. The SPCA says 16 horses have now recovered from malnutrition and are ready to be adopted out. The farm also has llamas, ducks, a donkey, even a goat up for adoption. Just ahead of 548, amazing orcas, cute babies, and a game of movie phone tag.